Thanks, guys. We're here at the University of New South Wales with their world champion robot soccer team. <laughs> Say, Goose, why don't you go and interview the team manager and I'll talk to one of the programmers? Sounds like a plan. On three, Darren. Three, three two, two, one, break! break. <laughs> This is Sean, and Sean's the team captain of UNSW's robot soccer team. Sean, can you tell me what exactly is robot soccer? So robot soccer is five on five, fully autonomous robots trying to play soccer just like regular people. Autonomous means that there's no remote control. So we just press the start button and then they have to do everything themselves, make all the decisions all by themselves without any human interaction. How do you guys actually start programming these robots to play a match of soccer? Uh, well, there's there's a few low-level skills you have to be able to do. You have to be able to use the robot's cameras to see the things around them. So see the ball, see the goals, see other robots, and then work out where they are on the field. Then they have to make some decision about what to do. And then they have to be able to actually do that decision. So move their, their motors and their gears in order to walk or kick or pass or something like that. We're here today with Luke, who is a programmer on the Robo Soccer team. Hello, Luke. Hi, Darren. Uh, could you show us how these robots work? So we program the robots using a combination of C++ and Python to get them to play soccer. What issues and challenges have you come across? So frequently we deal with code that we haven't worked on and previous team members have worked on but they're not part of the team. So then we have to figure out what it's doing, why it is or isn't working and then correct it. Oh, now he's three. Okay, we're good. Now, what can these robots do aside from playing soccer? So these robots have a few functionalities that are already implemented, including dancing, following humans. Can they sing? if you want them to. <laughs> Break it down! <laughs> so our uni's been part of RoboCup since 2000, and then with these two-legged robots uh, since 2009, I think. Um, so we've, we've been a part of quite a lot of RoboCups, and we've won the last two in a row. What was it like actually competing in the World Championships? It was pretty exciting. Uh, we were confident that we'd do all right uh, during the early pool rounds, but in, in, in the knockout finals, anything could happen. So we were very stressed leading up towards toward the final, and then the final was very nerve-wracking. It was very close. It was 1-1 with two minutes left in the game. Uh, so it was a very tense, uh, and but, but exciting time as well. Yes! Yeah! What exactly are you guys doing while the match is taking place? Essentially nothing. We can, we can watch them and, and see what they're thinking and see what they're doing, but we're powerless to help. So we scream and yell and, and hope that they're going to listen to us, but at the end of the day, they, they're already programmed. They'll make their own decisions based on, on what we've taught them over the last year. So, Sean, how did you first get into programming robots? Uh, I was studying software engineering, so I knew I wanted to do some engineering when I finished school. wasn't really sure what kind, but I liked computers uh, and played a lot of games, so I went into software engineering and then ended up in robotics. So you learn lots of skills that are useful just in, in general industry life. You learn how to work on a really big project with a big team. You learn how to deal with code that someone else has written first. And these are all really useful skills, not only in robotics, but in everything you do in programming. What advice would you give to any spawnlings out there who want to get into programming and robotics like yourself? Do lots of maths and science in school, uh, but also there's lots of opportunities for school kids to get involved. Uh, there's RoboCup Junior, which runs for primary schools and high schools, where you can uh, participate in rescue or dance or soccer competitions. So that's a really great way to get involved in, in, in some robotic stuff while you're still in school. <laughs> So, Luke, do you think I could play in a game with your team? Well, Darren, you're a bit big for the field, but you could give the robots a pep talk. <gasps> oh, that sounds wonderful! <laughs> me, 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 me. <clears throat> now, I know you've won the World Championship back-to-back, -back, but that is no reason to get complacent. I want you to go out there and train harder than you've ever trained before. Not just for the university, not just for Australia, but for me! Now, what are you going to do? We will win, win, win. I said, what are you going to do? We will win. We will win. We will win. We will win. Oh, excellent. Now get out there and play ball. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh.
I'm just so happy.